This is the Horror Shots Podcast. Hello again and welcome to another Horror Shots Podcast with me, Casey. For starters, it's not going to be very long. It's only going to be a few minutes. It's more of an update since I missed last week's cast. Now, I just want to fill you in on what's been going on and why I haven't been posting or haven't been as super active as I uh, usually am. First, I decided to shoot a short horror film. May not seem like a huge deal. It may seem like a huge deal to others. You'd be, holy crap, you shot a horror film? What are you doing? Well, it was just a, a weekend, and I decided, you know what? I've got nothing to do. Let's get some people together, mainly my wife, and go down and shoot a horror film. So we did a little horror one. It came out to about 10 minutes long. It's pretty bold from what I've heard. It's also got a little bit of, um, how do I put this lightly? A little bit of nudity in it, and it's kind of turning some people off, but other people seem to like it. It's very hard to describe. So that has been taking up a lot of my time in the past week. A lot of editing, a lot of retouching, a lot of fine-tuning, a lot of reshooting some aspects. It just didn't turn out the first time around. So I'm very excited about it. I'm thinking of submitting it to maybe a horror festival. Uh, We'll see uh, how much feedback I get from other people and what they think, if it's worthy, if I should just hold off on it. I'm thinking of maybe just putting it up online and letting the public decide for themselves if they like it or not, and if they want to fund or help fund a second project, that would be even better. If I could get a budget behind a a short film, I'm pretty sure I could make it pretty special. If I could get some actors in and pay them, it'd be kind of fun. And I think fun things to shoot show on film rather than something that's a little more laborious in nature. Beyond that, I'm still getting ready for my upcoming events. So on the 27th of October, I'll be at the Indigo in Stone Road Mall in the town of Guelph, Ontario. So if you're in the neighborhood, feel free to stop by. I'll be signing some books there for their annual Halloween event, which I've been a part of now. I think this is my second year going. So it'll be a lot of fun to get out there and sign some books and talk to some fans if I have any. After that, the following weekend, I will be in Toronto at Horrorama selling some prints and some other things. Maybe I'll bring some books along if I have any left over from the chapters slash indigo signing. And lastly, I will be seeing Halloween, the new Halloween, on... Thursday. So you can expect a longer cast on Friday. I'm going to review that. I know reviews aren't really my thing, but I will be going over some of the history of Halloween, the movie, the series, and then I will go into a little bit of a review, hopefully spoiler-free review, of the new one that comes out this coming weekend. So I'm very excited about that, and I really, really can't wait to share my thoughts on it and share with you how the movie was in general. I can't wait to see it. I'm a huge Halloween fan. I have in my entire life. And I think it is one of the best horror franchises out there. Even with all the crappy sequels and the horrible remakes by Rob Zombie, which I'm going to catch a lot of flack for because a lot of people love Rob Zombie and a lot of people really love those movies. But they just don't hold up to the original. Nothing will. So we'll see how this one is in comparison to, say, the first one, or even the second one, which I didn't find too awful, in my opinion. But I'll get into more of that on Friday. So until then, I just wanted to give you that update. As always, feel free to check out my website at horrorshots.com. And if you would like to donate some anything, money or time or resources or anything you have towards my next film, feel free to drop me a line. I mean, I'm not going to turn away... A donation or anything like that and of course if you want to see the film I will send you a Google Drive link towards it so you can go check it out yourself just like I said be warned it does have some graphic nature graphic nature as in full frontal male nudity yes male nudity it's not something you hear about too often and I think that's what's catching the most flack from the people who have seen it all they can talk about is Oh, there was a penis in that. Yes. Yes, there was. 
So I hope that's not a distracting factor for this film. And I really hope if you do end up contacting me to see it, that you do enjoy it yourself. Of course, any feedback is welcome feedback. Just don't be a dick about it. That's all I ask. I don't think that's too much of a, a thing to ask for, to have some constructive and creative criticism towards a creative project that took some time to do, and I put a little bit of effort into it. I don't put a lot of effort into anything, but this one I did, and I'm kind of proud of it, even if other people hate it. Now I kind of know how Lars von Trier feels. I mean, Antichrist is probably one of the most divisive films of all time. Even I'm not a huge fan of that one, but, you know, it's kind of an inspiration towards this one. So we'll see. We will see. But until Friday, I hope you enjoy this little update. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to hit me up on Twitter at HorrorShotsPod.com or Instagram at HorrorShotsPhotography or my website through the contact form at HorrorShots.com. And if you see the new Halloween movie and get to it before I do somehow, feel free to let me know what you think about that as well. So until then...